Hi, this is Yungun. Starting for 2024, I'm planning to create Premiere Pro tutorial. I'm thinking of making a series on it. My YouTube channel has been focused on drones, and I've covered topics like introducing locations where I flew and how to fly and how to shoot. From now on, I want to delve into how to edit these videos in Premiere Pro. If you look at the videos that you have taken with your drones, uh, the visual appeal is honestly quite low in the beginning. So it becomes necessary to re-edit and adjust these things in Premiere Pro. I'll share the methods with you. The purpose of making this tutorial is that I hope you all can edit well and earn money from it. If you can make money through your hobby, then your spouse won't say anything about going out to fly drones. And if you can show her that you can earn money with drones, then she might even think it's a good way to let you go out and fly drones. To my acquaintances, there are people who used to fly drones but stopped flying because his wife strongly opposed it. They say they can't fly drones anymore because their spouse won't let to. But there are many ways to earn money with drones. Uh, there are many competitions in Korea. Submit your work to those contests. If you can edit your drone footage well, you could earn win prizes. In my case, I've been receiving uh, like $5,000 the last year. Once you start giving pocket money to your wife, she will give always say yes for you to go out to fly drones. In my YouTube ch channel, I've been sharing uh, how I've been flying, how I've been shooting and where to shoot. So if I've shared those aspects with you so far, now I want to share with you how to edit your drone footage in a nice way. I bought DJ Mini 2 in March 2021. Mini 2 is still serving me very well. I think it's a really good drone because of its lightweight. I believe that with Mini 2 still can win the contest for sure. Of course using a higher quality device would be better, but because of its portability, you can easily carry it anywhere you go. I've been watching other good drone videos shot by many people overseas and consequently I've participated in a contest with uh, DJI Mini 2 and even been selected and won the prize. So as I started shooting decent drone videos as word spread out and I received a request to shoot a promotional video at a specific pension at Hadong located in Gyeongsangdo province. Uh, consequently, I ended up shooting a promotional video there, and it was a place where the daily accommodation fee was around like $500, and I got 3 days for free. In the return of making promotional video, so which saved me about like $1,500 in summer vacation period. I took my family with me, and there are many places uh, worth capturing in the Hadong area, so I filmed those kinds of places, and the pension owner really loved it see the video uh, in the end. So when I came back, I happened to find out that there are a lot of competitions in Korea. There are many websites that introduce these uh, competitions. For example, uh, when you go to like the kongbojeon.com, uh, where video competitions are categorized by region, time, theme, uh, there are also drone specific competitions also. So what I want to say is uh, during the summer vacation, why not bring a drone along when you go? and capture the interesting footages. There's always a use for it afterwards. Many of my videos in my channel had significant value as I submitted at contests and won prizes. You will notice that every province has their own competitions in Korea. So try to take your drones footages and when you go on a vacation. There are indeed numerous video competitions available, so capture uh, footages wherever you go and simply submit it. I believe that there's a good chance of being selected. Of course, if you aim to be selected, you're, you might need to create a more engaging video. Additionally, you should carefully incorporate music and edit it well. Aligning with these elements it would likely increase the chances of winning a video competition. In my case, I started with the DJI Mini 2 on March 2021, and then in October uh, 2021, I started DJI FPV, my first FPV drone. Starting with the Yuksan building diving in January 2022, I got really into diving from that point. Since then, I've been shooting more dynamic videos with up and down movements in 2022. 
Combining these dynamic FPV footages with serene shots from the DJI Mini 2, I began exper experimenting with my own editing style. Along the way, I have memories of winning awards in various competitions as I continue to participate in them. So even in 2022, I earned more than $5,000 with the drone competitions. You can see that drone hobby is successfully earning money. After spending a successful year, so she, like if I give a pocket money to my wife, she does not uh, deny me flying the drones. In 2023, the truly remarkable events occurred, uh, which my two years of drone videos led me to a grand prize in a posting competition in Jeju Island. So I got $5,000 as a prize. Uh, with that, in 2023, the total amount I won in competitions uh, approached nearly about like $10,000. This was enough money not only to buy a drone, but also to have some left over. So this is how you manage your hobby. So based on what I learned through the editing process till today, I will try to share easy tutorial by dissecting my grand prize video. And I will also create useful shorts format, the YouTube shorts format uh, for specific commands in Premiere Pro, along with the video tutorials. Based on this winning video, I will make an overall tutorial to show that video editing techniques that I used. Some may ask, what makes your Premiere tutorial different from others? I assure you one thing, that this will be the easiest Premiere Pro tutorial on YouTube. Because I learned it by myself from the scratch, and I learned one by one with basic questions. How do I do this and that? I only know a few commands, but still, I can make a wonderful videos myself. I will share those essential commands with you. I will also have my own way to do something uh, that no one has tried before, as I made it by an impromptu. I've made ways to make it more easier editing, uh, so there can be more professional and easier ways than my, my way. However, my way will be quite intuitive as my brain works in that way if you learn those few commands i guess that you can also achieve good results in competitions for sure yeah that's how it goes and uh when you watch some when you watch my videos some might think why does he do do like that there can be more easier way and better way but still my way can be, be more intuitive for sure. So therefore, in my videos, it's going to be Premiere Pro specialized for drone videos, and it's going to be the easiest tutorials ever. So firstly, you need to be able to create highly immersive videos. So it's about uh, teaching how to make the most engaging videos. It should block viewers leaving while watching. So it's about how to create the most immersive video possible. To achieve that, you might need to manipulate the speed of the video. When the flying footage is slow, it might become a bit monotonous. When ascending along the mountain ridge, due to the law of gravity, the drone naturally slows down. So in such moments, you might want to speed it up to a bit create a natural feeling, giving the impression that the drone is soaring. Uh, I'll explain uh, how to achieve this kind of effect in editing speed editing. Just imagine if this video were edited with sudden jump from 100% speed to 150% and then back to 100%. It will make the video feel quite amateurish. So it might feel abrupt if you just speed it up too suddenly. So instead of doing that, I want to share the methods where the speed gradually accelerates and decelerates, smoothly creating a natural gradient. However, if you would, uh, if you do that, the making of turn accelerating to 150% speed can feel very awkward once you deviate from the laws of physics. The DJI FPV can reach speeds of up to 140 kilometers, and DJI Avatar uh, has maximum speed of uh, 70 kilometers per hour. The DJI FPV is almost twice as fast as the Avatar drone. However, when I edit, sometimes I increase the avatar speed to around 150 or even up to 
to make more immersive video as you can or as you just saw. This kind of deception through editing is crucial. So if you fly uh, DJI PV provides a much more immersive and enjoyable experience, it's fast enough. Flying the DJI Vata can be a bit dull because it feels slow, so even I recommend it, I recommend to speed it up of the videos twice for more enjoyable drone shots like DJI FPV. Therefore, with a sense of speed and immersion. And I will teach you where to accelerate again through this video. Uh, secondly, I will also address where to find good music. In my opinion, music occupies about 70 to 80 percent of the video. The power that the music possesses should align with the concept for a good video to be produced. The finding the right music can indeed transform transform the visual value of your videos. I believe that there are always the right music for each videos. And always it's always been challenging to find the right music, but it really matters. I will tell you how effectively synchronize videos with uh, your music. You can see that the music and the videos match synchronizes very exactly with the wavelength, uh, as you can see below. The rest will be covered in details as we progress through the upcoming tutorials. There I'll demonstrate and explain each step.